So, damit geht's rein in das dritte Match. Wir kommen zum einzigen Starter Polen. Er ist seit vielen Jahren einer der Topspieler in Polen. Er war auch schon beim World Cup mit dabei in Frankfurt. Er hat sich jetzt zum wiederholten Male für die European Tour qualifizieren können. Die Rede ist von The Polish Champion Christoph Ratajski. <Sie> Christoph Ratajski nimmt es auf mit der aktuellen Nummer 101 der PDC-Weltrangliste. Er hat sich jetzt bereits zum zweiten Mal für die European Tour in diesem Jahr 2017 qualifizieren können. Und er kommt aus Schottland, Jamie Bain! Wir wollen auch den Caller dieses dritten Matches herzlich begrüßen. Es ist George Noble. Well, a happy bet. German darts open continues. Two men through to the second round already. The South African Warwick Sheffer and the demolition man Darren Webster from Norwich. Either the Polish champion Christopher Ratajski or Scotland's Jamie Bain will go through. Peter Snakebite right. The number two seed awaits the winner of this one. And Jamie Bain... He's been around a little bit. You might not have seen that much of him. Not seen him much on big TV stages. But if this is the first time you've seen him, it is going to be rapid. Pay attention. He does not hang around Jamie Bain. I'm Dan Dawson. Chris Murphy back in the commentary box for this one. Well, if it is the first time you've seen him, what on earth were you doing at the German Darts Championship? Not mm -hmm. watching us. Because both these players appeared there. And both of them made it through to the second round. But only one of them can do that this time. Which one will it be, Dan? Well, that's a very good question. First. Game on. Jamie Bain was very, very impressive. 100. I have to say, I believe he averaged around about 101 in his opening round win. In fact, I will tell you, it was 101.53 in his victory 100. against Chris Dovin. Yeah, went on to get beaten by Joe Cullen in the second round. Matajski defeated Ryan De Vrieda, 6-2, in Hildesheim before losing out to Gerwin Price, who was in excellent form that weekend. Yeah, this is his third 16. European Tour event running, Christoph Ratajski, having won the East European qualifiers for the first three of them. 57. If he does continue that sort of dominance in the qualifying events over the course of the year, A, he's going to pick up a lot of money. B, we'll probably see him at the European Championship. 97. European Championship, the qualifying criterion, is solely based on how well you do in these 12 Euro Tour events. Bain flying over to the trouble 15 and having no problem in pinning it to leave. Shanghai finish for a potential 15 dart leg. Yeah, we'll discuss something about that after this leg, Dan, just see if Jamie Byrne can take out the 120. 140! Jamie Ricoir, 120. Regarding one of the big names in darts. Could be a big finish. 100! Christoph Ricoir, 100. Well, a chance to break. Staying on the 18s for double 16. Gets the treble, double 16 for a 15 data and a break of throw. Oh, and Jamie Bain leg. fails Christoph to take out Ratowski. the ton plus check out. Christoph Ratajski manages to do it take though. That is Christoph a break of throw. throw first. Game on. Yeah, the man I wanted to mention, Dan, in terms of qualifying for the European Championship was uh, Bain's fellow countryman, Gary Anderson, who mm. was provisionally the 16th seed for this event. 140! Does it say to you the fact that he hasn't played in any of the first three and is set to now fall out of the seedings that he's probably not going want? to play or do you think he'll just rely on his pro to perform and maybe enter a couple later in the year very difficult to say isn't it and I think darts players will change their minds over the course of the year I think we saw from Phil Taylor last year where it didn't 99. look like he was going to play in any of them then he suddenly decided oh you know what I'll give it a go 1-1 one, one. and found himself in Hasselt in Belgium as Jamie Bay fires in uh, 180 no! We're talking about Anderson and Taylor, and Bain throws darts like them. 
Yeah, it would have been very, very tasty, though, wouldn't it? Had he turned up 95. and met Michael Van Gogh in round three, that his second round match. You know, that is the nature of these events. The ones 59. where the top players are having 67. to do well in pro tour events to qualify players championship, UK Opens. And then obviously the European Championship. Does mean that you get some funny looking seeding sometimes and some very early clashes of big name players. 60. Well, of course, we do want to see them all. But right here, right now, it's Ratajski looking to double his lead. 17 for tops. Just making sure. 42. Jamie Rigua, 161. Well, it's a big shot for Bain. It ain't going to happen. Double top. 60. Two -leg cushion. You require 40. Well, Jamie Bain's had five visits in this leg. He's had a 180 with one of them and failed to hit a big treble with any of the others. And that's the reason that Ratajski finds himself having darts for the leg here. Yeah, and and that's the second a very leg. impressive dart, Ritalski. that last one, because he made Jamie the target significantly Rufus. smaller by bending the Game wire. Yeah, and found the, the smallest portion of the double available. And now Bain looking at another one. 140! 140 in the end. Jamie Bain just been signed to a new management team. He's not had one before. Did have a tour card for a couple of years. Lost it last year. Won it back on points this year. Got himself a, a sponsor. And we'll see. Just little things like that can change 100. players' outlooks. You know, look at, say, Steve West, back end of last year. Suddenly became a real threat, having got new management and new darts. Just weird little things can change players' confidence and a belief, and that can have demonstrable effects on the dart. Yeah, it remains to be seen. That's a great dart for Ben to follow. Can he follow it with two? 140! Yeah, the same stable as uh, Daryl Gurney. Mm. He's not doing bad lately. Certainly isn't. Won his first PDC title just a couple of weeks ago. Not here, though. 30. Because he was knocked out Jamie in qualifying by Paul Nicholson. Who yes? just hates commentating with us. Well, keeps yeah. qualifying for European Tour events. 85. That's the longest Jamie Vane will probably take in this entire match to decide where to throw a dart. And he fires it straight into the treble bed he was going for. leaves himself double 18. Look at this. 140. Oh, I thought the second that was 36. in. George Noble knew Dave better. Short in a third leg. George Jamie Noble Bain. always knows better. Well, Christoph to throw first. Good Game leg off. of darts from Jamie Bain there to hit back. 13 data. Just a hold of throw, but it gives him something to build upon. Saw him beat Mickey Mansell, Scott Derbyshire and Joe Mernon in qualifying for this Jamie Bain. 100. All of those games go into at least 10 legs. So he had a battle to get here. I've been pulling up trees on the tour this year. A couple of last 32s. One of those was in the German Darts Championship, the first European Tour event of the year. But as I say, that performance against Doby, where he won it with 101.5 average, very impressive. It hints that there's more to come from Jamie Bain. 26. The last Pro Tour event he played, he got to the last 32 and beat Chris Quantock and... Darren Webster, two very capable players. Well, we've just seen how well Darren Webster can play, averaging more than 97 in his 6-3 win over Peter Jakes. 100. Very much feast and famine with Jamie Bain. You, you do wonder whether that's partially down to how quickly he throws. If the dart, first dart is in the right place, he just follows it and it's just there. That's why he's, you know, he's hit the only 180 of the match. He's had 3 ton 40. But we've had a 26, we've had 41s, there's been all sorts of stuff. 60s 100. where none of the darts looked anywhere near the treble there. The average is around 95, that's a decent standard. 58. That will bring it down of 104. 104, he did this in leg one. And he got the dart, second dart in the treble, and the third dart in the double 16, he and he's doing it again. The full flag, Christopher Telsky. It's like Jamie to throw first. Game on. Well, I was looking to give Jamie Bain some advice. Don't let Christoph Ratajski have a look at 104. Because 140. he's to be absolutely lethal on it at the minute. 
Yeah, becoming the signature shot. You know you've made it if you've got a signature. Barney's got the one five six. Yeah. Fifty-eight. He's getting a lot of darts very high. His first 59. dart, and then trying to compensate, and he's ending up low. And it's just there's no consistency here for Jamie Bain in the scoring. When he does get it right first time, he follows it or tends to. Yeah, I guess that's the thing with these sort of rhythm players, the, the ones that kind of don't have that sort of delayed aim of a dart they just throw. It's either on and it's wonderful or it's off and it's uh, 30. not so great. Mm. Bit of the latter there. Still 110 points clear. Ninety-seven. Matoski just keeping within striking distance. One hundred. I thought he might have looked at the bullseye there with that last dart, because twenty-five instead of a single twenty would have got him to a finish of one six seven. Doesn't matter because Matoski is not going to get to a finish 60. himself, but it could have mattered. Ooh, well. 125. Does manage to follow his first dart with one of the two, and he will get two darts for the leg. A, a double of his choice. First time these two have clashed in professional darts. In fact, Jamie Vane had to ask who he was. And I, I told him on the car journey from the airport who he was playing. Double 16. He starts in the fifth leg. Jamie Vane. Sixth leg, Christoph to throw first. Game on. Well, it was in a car journey. It sounds like it was a genuine attempt to, to find out who he was rather than a, a bit of mind game. So no, who is, yeah. Who is this joker? <laughs> yeah, he wasn't sat next to him at the time or anything. 140! Well, a couple of players found out they were playing each other on the way to their hotel last night, didn't they? John Henderson. It was in the, the very same car journey. John Henderson and James Richardson were informed that they'd be playing each other in the first round. What else went on in this bus tour? 99. It wasn't a great deal of that, to be fair. That was marvellous. And Jamie Bain was very excited about the prospect of potentially playing Peter Snake by right. In the second round. Well, I think there's one and a half thousand German darts fans very excited. About three thousand German mm. darts fans coming to see Snake Bite tomorrow. He really is a darling of darts over here. 134. But Ben has got some work to do to set up that encounter. 60. Well, it's a ton plus, but Ratajski has shown that he is very, very capable of taking these out. And I wouldn't be surprised 59. if he goes triple-A teams here. Because the 200... And fours have both gone with single 18 and treble 18. Well, he's gone the 20s route. And he's unable to get it. Maybe the 18s was the route to go. And Jamie Bain will have a look at 1 2 8. 76. And a big moment in this match Samuel as he looks to level it up. Treble 18. Treble 20. And doesn't find the target with either. And the last dart seems to be 32. thrown in anger. Thudded into the board. Aim short and a sick flag. Number 16 working very well for the Jamie Polish Rufus. champion. Game on. Pretty Ron Seal nickname, that one. That's a pretty polished performance. 100. The bane of his opponent's existence, if you will. Yeah, I suppose. Bane's new manager is desperately trying to do this thing, promoting him on social media as... Bane from the Batman films. It's really not working. I mean, there's just no... 93. No link other than the name. This is a man who's called one of his players Super Chin as well. Well, well I mean... Ridiculous behaviour. <laughs> this isn't ridiculous though, is it? 140! Fifty-eight. Finishing very good. Christoph Ratajski very, very reliable on double 16. And Bain, the average is in the 90s. It's not 
dreadful. But his scoring has been such, you know, a good visit and then two poor visits. And the average is almost being kept up artificially because he's not getting a lot of darts at double. He's not getting many chances. When he is getting, he's taking them out. But he's just not getting that many. And he's cutting a frustrated figure up there. 97. Body language. 150. Jesse thinks that he should have the beating of retired skate. Now, 110. Two 104s. Rest of you were going 109. Couldn't do the 108. Can he complete the 109? No, just 104. That's all he can take out. <laughs> 93. Jamie, you require 40. Well, tops to close the gap once more. Getting closer. 20. But not close enough. And Christoph Ratajski, Christoph so deadly on double 16. 16. He's looking at the target just next door for a 5-2 lead. And he Christoph Ratajski looks to be Christoph heading towards Ratajski. the second round on the European they Tour for the Christoph second time in three events. First. Game on. One leg away. This isn't bad, Dan, but I'm very excited about our next match. Steve Lennon against Christian Kist. Lennon has been pulling up trees on the Pro Tour, hasn't he? Well, I've commented on a number of games of Steve Lennon over 55. there. 55! Of course, of this streamed Players' Championship and UK Open qualifiers, and I have to say, I'm very, very impressed with him. Still a raw talent, but he can score big and take out... Big finishes, and he seems to have a very good temperament. Seems to have everything that he would need to go and make an impression in the professional game over the next few years. Forty-six. to see how he takes to playing on the stage. And Jamie Benn is hoping that Ritaishi stays there, but he doesn't. He Easy one. finds the biggest target in terms of score. Now he needs at least another. 99. Well, Ratajski, finishing line is in sight. And that'll help. 96. Yeah, edging down towards getting a shot at a winning double. And Bain is wide and high. And 45. Again, he's unable to adjust. And you see the shrug of the shoulders. He doesn't really understand how it's all been going wrong. Treble 20 for Tops to put him out of his misery. Ratajski. The old Mervyn King route for the 80. Treble 16 for double 16. He's got a bit of time to play with. He can go any route he likes. And when you've been hitting double 16 100. as well as you have, then why not? So you so you treble 16 and the treble 8 kind of together. So it's almost a double sized treble here. But now it's single. The double 16 for a 6-2 win. 32. Jamie Rukwan, 156. Well, that's not going to go either, so Ratajski will come back and... 58. Over the course of this match, he's been very, very Christoph good on double 16. 32. It would be fitting for him to close this out. And, yeah, make sure you've got your sponsor badge on there. If they, you're going to sponsor the whole tournament, you're going to hit winning double. You may as well have the badge on. Ooh. No score. They might want him to take it off. Yeah. Jamie Rico on 98. Hmm, well, Bain now. Last chance saloon, surely. Does he go straight for it? He has. Yeah, and he's he bedded it. He's leg. Jamie Bain. He looks a bit surprised himself, Jamie Bain. Well, Knife leg, Jamie, well, to throw well, first. Jamie Bain manages to break the Ratajski throw for the first time in the match. And he's thrown to cut the gap to one leg, and maybe, 57. maybe, Christoph. That could, that could play on his mind. Three match darts missed, one at double 16, one at double eight, and then another at double eight. 68. Well, you wouldn't know it from his exterior. 60. Not one reaction. Forty-four. Does Ben believe? One hundred and forty. Well, 
And there's absolutely nothing between these guys in the averages. 47. And Bain has shown little flashes, odd visits, where it looks like he's in the mood but then it just disappears and he has poor visits now if he can just click into gear and we saw this a number of times last weekend with players coming back from a number of legs down and Jeffrey de Graaf looked like a different player against Ricky Evans after six legs 137 saw Phil Taylor last night win seven on the spin against Gary Anderson having been 4-0 down well we suggested last week that de Graaf could be nicknamed Boomerang it actually would quite work well quite well for Jamie Bain wouldn't it Boomerang Bain well, I know as a hack you do like alliteration oh what a set up shot that is from Christoph Ritzowski 165 to leave tops for the match and this has to go Jamie Bain and that's not even close 60. that second dot I didn't even know if it was for tops or the trouble 20 well this is for tops and this is for the match Yay. and a second shot. round showdown with and the match Christoph Ritzowski Christoph wins and he goes through to take on Peter Wright tomorrow. We'll be here from him in just a moment with Elmar Polka. And then, stay tuned, I think the next match will be a belter. Stephen Lennon against Christian Kidd coming right up. Christoph, congratulations. Happy with the win? Yeah. Yes, of course, I'm very happy. It's, it's good. It's good to, to win the, the first two, first or first two rounds on a, on a European Tour event. That's that's not normal yet. Yeah, it's not normal for me, of course. Uh, I'm very happy, and I'm happy with uh, this. Uh, I will play with the really good player in the second round. I check it, and yeah. and I'm really happy from it. Yeah. You are the only Polish starter here in, on the European Tour. Is it actually difficult to be to be a lonely rider, to be the only one from a country? Not to have a team and, and other, other mates uh, with you around? Uh, in Poland we have uh, many players and, uh, and in the another uh, qualification I think they will play uh, uh, not only me but uh, many, many more players. Uh, okay. From Poland of course. Uh, okay. So see you tomorrow again. Thank you very much. Christoph Ratajski. Er steht.